I'm Danny Anker, and welcome to Emo Watch Live! We've had a lot of requests to explain exactly what emo is. Emo is short for emotional or emotive or something, and is an emerging social tribe. As you can see from this graph, emo is a subdivision of the species goth, which itself is a subdivision of the genus punk, and is quite literally the hottest little fashion on the streets. As we can see from this graph, by 2015, over 45% of the world's population will be emo. By 2020, a shocking 87%, and by 2025, it'll probably have blown over. So it's imperative that we answer the question now, what is an emo? Over to you, Chester. Yes, I can confirm that there are literally some emos behind me as we speak. And the question on everybody's lips is, what is an emo and how can I be one? You gotta slit your wrists. A lot of crying. It's like the media have made up this thing that are trying to scare parents into thinking if their child is emo, they're going to self harm, they're going to like want to commit suicide and get into depressing music and get just oh, do. do drugs it's and like bands. They've got to be really deep and complicated. Wearing boys wearing girls' trousers and really tight tops. You've got to have a MySpace. And just because you're gay or bisexual does not mean you're emo. But if you're emo, do you have to be gay or bisexual? I haven't got a clue because I'm not emo. Emo hug. Madam, what makes an emo? Um, you make an emo. We think they're here for a gig. They might just be here for a fight. Either way, it's been a great experience. Back to you. In the studio today, we've got the spokesperson for the International Emo Society from Second Life, Moonshine23. Your thoughts, please. Basically, emo is like when no one understands you and your whole life is just like a spiraling black hole of emotion. I, I'm so depressed right now. I mean, I went to the barber and now my hair doesn't do the flicky thing like that guy from the band like it did before. With this international emo phenomena, or emonomena, rising at such an alarming rate, we decided to find out what it takes to turn an ordinary child into an emo kid. Earlier today, we took this boy and made him drink an emo potion, which I cooked up this morning. 10% nail varnish and eyeshadow, two emo mixtape CDs, 10% poetry, 15% fringe, a dash of bisexuality, and just a drop of goth tears. And we're ready to blend. That was seven hours ago. Let's check in with him now. Yes, it's looking good. He's already painted his nails black and he's writing a poem. I'd say that makes him about 45% emo. Let's check back with him later. Over to you, Chester. An emo is rubbing up against me as we speak. Do you want me to send back up? These emos are truly disgusting. It's making me feel a little sick right now. I can tell you the crowd is turning hostile. Just get out of there, Chester. I was once in Basra and it was nothing like this. That is all I can say. Emos are not only taking over the country, they're also ruining it. Back to you. Thanks, Chester. They really are filth. That's nearly all we have time for, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just check in with our test subject once again. This is amazing. He's currently straightening his hair and uploading a video blog onto MySpace. Hang on, is that, is, yes? Yes, that is a tear on his cheek, an actual tear. He is now a shocking 95% emo, wow. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you build an emo. Emo is alive and kicking in our cities and towns as we speak. Hate it or embrace it, at least now you understand it. Bye!